Cutie Pie, the most subscribed to YouTuber of all time, the face of a generation, the internet king. Felix Schellberg uploaded his first video on the PewDiePie channel in October 2010. It took little under three years for a legend to be born, but what if it never happened? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that loves many things. We ain't no one trick ponies. Why? Because questions have no genres. Science, history, space, politics, pop culture, meme culture. All of it. No question is undeserving of an answer. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking what if PewDiePie didn't exist? What a question. What a day. Before we get into this, why don't you guys let me know one, if I pronounce PewDiePie's name right? Shellbug? Kalibug? Let me know. Two, also let me know what you think the world would be like without pewds. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below and do leave a thumbs up on this video. Also, clickety click that notification bell to stay up to date with small, medium, and big answers. PewDiePie, apparently originally intended to be pronounced PewDiePie after his online gaming name PewDie and uh, his love of pie, which to be honest, I feel you on that last one, Felix. Mmm, pie. PewDiePie is the most influential online personality of the last decade. In July 2012, he hit the 1 million subscriber milestone, but in 2013, that was his big year. He went from 3.5 million to 10 million and then up to nearly 20 million by the time New Year bells were tolling. That year, he became the most subscribed to YouTuber in the world, and despite being briefly dethroned once by YouTube itself, since the 23rd of December 2013, he has held on to that title. PewDiePie is an old timer and one of the founding pillars on which YouTube as a platform built its strength. Named as one of Time Magazine's world's 100 most influential people in 2016, while your mum and dad might not have heard of him, you would be an absolute fool to downplay his significance and influence as a historical figure during the boom of social media. So what if he didn't exist? Well, right now PewDiePie has 85 million subscribers, although the number is almost irrelevant as it keeps on changing. Beyond those 85 million is a wider network of people who know his name. Without PewDiePie, the levels of personal impact would vary. It would be dramatic to say that the lives of 85 million and change people would be significantly altered on any personal level. I'm subscribed to PewDiePie. I watch his content every now and then, probably once a week, but it doesn't factor into my day today. Some more core members of the bro army might be devastated, but how could they miss what they never had? Well, let me tell you. PewDiePie perpetuated the let's play genre. It is hard to tell if he was the sole driving force or just the most prevalent figure riding the waves, but with his influence, I would say he certainly gave a lot to the gaming industry at the time it was really growing. His presence popularized gameplay and gaming as a spectacular hater, which likely fed into the growth of esports. He hit it big with The Last of Us and he provided a lot of coverage for indie games, which may never have found as big an audience without him. Beyond gaming, PewDiePie provided commentary for online culture. I'm gonna go as far as to say that meme culture would not be the same. His meme reviews have been some of his best content and perpetuated memes as a general talking point. But I do have a more serious point to make here. When PewDiePie started commenting on culture, he broke out of a very important box. From online gamer, he became a YouTube personality, and a YouTube personality with opinions, which very much upset traditional media. PewDiePie broke the cookie cutter image of celebrity hosts, presenters. He wasn't mainstream, he was awkward, he was kinda crude. All of a sudden, being famous, like super famous, didn't mean having to look or act a certain culturally accepted way. In some ways, PewDiePie championed the everyman. Early on in his career, he was noticed and discussed by big publications such as the New York Times and Billboard. Now, this is my own speculation, but have you ever noticed how traditional media platforms are very happy talking about reality TV stars and B list celebrities? But when it comes to YouTubers, they literally only discuss a handful of the utmost successful for their own story gain. Now, PewDiePie didn't have to play nice to the press to get his platform like some reality stars. Worryingly for traditional media, he became bigger than them. He drew attention to a platform of the self-made that had old media shaking in their boots. 
boots, and that platform is YouTube. Now, YouTube is something that PewDiePie's success helped perpetuate, but of course, love it or hate it, which he frequently does, neither could exist without the other, or so I argue. PewDiePie's success came at a time that the concept of how to become successful was changing. Previously, being a quote unquote celebrity came at the mercy of producers and people with big money to give you big opportunities. As a case study, PewDiePie is really interesting as a figure in history. He dropped out of uni because he didn't like it, something that many people would consider failing. He then found something he liked better and he excelled at it. PewDiePie as a historical character helped the shift of opinion towards higher education. Ten years prior, it seemed vital for all young people to attend university to succeed in life, but now it seems that people are finding better ways for them that serve them. I wonder, without figures like PewDiePie saying that that is okay if a lot of kids would still be pursuing business degrees that their hearts just aren't in. The big question, I suppose, is if PewDiePie didn't exist, would YouTube monetization have taken the blow it did following his many content scandals, specifically the Fiverr Jews incident of 2017? Some could argue that without PewDiePie, YouTube as a platform wouldn't have grown as successful and therefore would have received less brands placing their money in it, but others say that someone else would have filled the void left by PewDiePie's absence, for example, Jack Sepsi or Markiplier. Would these people have been a little bit more responsible with their content? PewDiePie being so successful and making jokes in such poor taste did reveal a worry for big brands. They don't tow the clean cut party line that brands are used to dealing with to deliver their message exactly as they imagine it. PewDiePie made marketing teams worry. Of course, I'm not defending his actions at all. It did also seem to coincide with YouTube tightening their regulations around content creation and they made it harder for smaller YouTubers to earn a living. But was that par for the course? Would it have happened anyway? I do wonder if without Pewds, YouTube may be less of a boys club. With such a prominent male rising throughout the ranks and creating what he actually called a bro army, was he promoting toxic masculinity, pushing females out of the gaming genre and leaving them to make up in shopping halls? I honestly don't know, but I find it interesting that he changed the name of his fan base name to Squad Fam. Hmm. Did he recognize that actually perhaps he'd created a bit of a problem? So what if PewDiePie didn't exist? Well, the internet would likely be different, but who is to say exactly how? Would someone have filled his shoes? Would they have filled his gaming chair? Probably. But of course, that would be, like with all other what if they didn't exist questions, a whole other reality that we just can't imagine. For better or for worse, PewDiePie is here. Get used to it. Now before I go, I just want to read some comments. It wasn't my video, but it seems very apt. It is what if T-Series beats PewDiePie? Now one just sums it up for me. Don't sub to me said, then the world would end. Quite. Quite. So from the world ending to the video ending, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think the world would be like without PewDiePie. Honestly, I am very, very eager to read your responses. Also, do click on that notification bell to be the first to hear a big answer. For now though, I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.